What's up, everybody? It's your boy Pain because everybody shall know Pain. We have, you know, um, the buff for Naruto plus Hinata. And let's just see what are the changes. You guys can see if the changes are in black, what they originally was. Um, now 30% damage rate, which was originally 25%. Um, reduced in opponent speed by 20% and attack by 30%, which was 15 and 20. Uh, every time uh, they lose 50% HP, they increased boy injury by 6%, which was the nice and powerful 5%. And then the skill attack all enemies with a growing rate of two, um, 320, which was 300. And has a 65% chance to explode, which is the DLT from a 5, uh, from 55%. Um, the, let me see, DLT, oh my bad, the chance to do the crowd control DLT was, oh, it's still 100%. Uh, increased the support attack by 30%, which was 20%. And reduced enemies defense by 30%, which was 20. Yes, it was. And recovers own theory by 50. And everybody's um, own, 50, own theory by 50. And everybody's theory by 50. Which was 30 30. It was 30 30, yes. And you look at the gross. Um, what, still 1200, 10,000, 10,000, 8,000. But the actual points went up on the agility and chakra going up to town. Going up to 10 and the forces goes up force goes up to 11.0 and the health goes up to 13.0 from the 12.0 so there's a question mark because if the growths went up how come the numbers are still the same that's why it might, might it's supposed to be a little bit higher but overall I you know you ask the question does this change my mindset of getting this ninja over Kagua and it, you know, again, you know, the what's increased support attack is nice. Um, having the reduced opponent's speed by 20% in their attack is good as well. Because Kaigo has 30% in her talent, but doesn't have the reduced enemy speed. Um, the crowd control, DLT, you know, same percentage. I really so shot, you know, 65%. DLT still 100%. I mean, when you really look at it, you know, what makes them completely different is only, well, you know, the only thing is different is the whole, what is it, um, ah, dang it, um, Kakaya lower, lowers her own defenses, and she has a will after she attacks, um, she increases it by speed by 30%, and since, you know, having three deal, three, um, virgins, She'll be able to, she would she would be able to skill every single round to keep our speed up. So that, I mean, when you look at it, that's the, that's the only difference between them. It's because she once after she attacks, um, we're going to be able to you know have thirty percent extra speed. Where it's kind of like oh, if you run them, you have the speed reduction. You have the same exact uh, what is it um, attack reduction, increase of avoid injury whenever they lose HP. Better growth with very uh, a thing, better growth rate in terms of damage and the skill, crowd control, everything. You have the defenses, which is a perfect replacement over Nagato because I mean, no, 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 because I still have Tony that that lowers their defenses. But, I mean, they can lower their defenses once again and fifty fifty because Kaiga does the same thing. So I think I'm gonna have to do some thinking. I know that the common sense would be would to get them because the only difference is just the um you know Kaguya hurts herself well she boosts up their defense boosts up um assaults defenses but then weaker herself but paired up with Saratobi kinda counters that so she, she I think she will only have a I think a twenty percent increase on I think I think it's like a ten percent increase on a physical or something like that. But it's, it's basically her talent plus with um uh, what Saratobi is it it makes up for it. And then Tonary cleanse it. So I'm gonna do some thinking. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you guys later. This is